I traveled all the way to England to attend an event that BMW threw for their i8 owners and um, this is actually a very very cool event and I wish all car companies would do that for their loyal customers. Now the reason I wanted to come here also is to kind of revisit maybe the i8 in particular and uh, plug-in hybrids in general. Now I know in our community, all electric car community, a lot of people kind of look down on uh, on a plug-in hybrids, and I know this car doesn't really go that far on uh, just a single electric charge, but it, I, I, I thought this is actually a very good car that can just be that intermediate step that most people need to get to the all-electric future. Now, not everybody can afford this car, obviously, but people do admire this car because it's in a BMW. It's a really, really good looking car. And a lot of people can see that the cars that are now all about performance and luxury more and more utilize the electric powertrain. And people who drive them also kind of um, uh, uh, get trained that, you know, all electric cars are really not that scary. You can plug your car in and it's fine and you can enjoy the performance of a car that runs on electric energy. Before you got before you got it, were you aware it had an electric powertrain? Yes, yes, yes. Did it scare you? Did it excite you? It, How did you it, feel? It was exciting. It was part of the in innovation in, uh, in, in the car. It's a really plus because uh, we live in a little village and I drive uh, only. We drive only uh, electric uh, through the village, so we. Nobody is. Uh, Nobody knows you're coming. It, it is. It is also uh, preferred by a lot of manufacturers more and more now to actually create the uh, plug-in hybrids because they believe the performance can really, really benefit from combining the uh, electric. Uh, powertrain and uh, the gas engine. Now, obviously, in the future, as the battery technology moves forward, becomes cheaper and so forth, and maybe even go we, we go towards solid-state batteries um, types. You know, these kind of cars really will be all electric, and I'm sure of that. But I think you know, and I can't stress this enough is. Um, this is that necessary step that we might just have to go through um, to get the majority of people to switch from their gas cars to all electric cars. Well, we do think that. A modern sports car, and especially as visionary as the BMW i8, doesn't need the consumption of a normal sports car. But you do get the performance of a proper sports car, but with the consumption of a small car or, for short everyday trips, no consumption at all as you're going pure electric on it. And so we uh, thought that really makes sense in these days now. And also the electric motor does offer you... Um, real sports car performance it is very quick quicker than any combustion engine could ever be so that really makes sense for bmw sports car to combine these two things together so what do you think is missing right now like if you just had a wish list of things to make an all-electric car that doesn't exist right now maybe or it's just you know maybe it doesn't make sense financially what would be on that wish list what do you think will take to actually make an all-electric high performance car like this yeah. i mean we do have very high performance electric uh, motors already what i would wish for is a battery that only weighs like 200 kilogram but offers five six hundred kilometers of range and the power for 500, 400 kilowatts or so. You've been reading my wish list, I think, yeah. too. I, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think everybody would be wishing for that. So you would not end up with a sports car weighing two tons plus, but 1.6 ton as we have in the Roadster and have the superb handling and the performance and the range. Now, uh, we spent all afternoon, I spent all afternoon with uh, these owners and I drove this car actually behind me, the media car, the, the orange one, the Roadster. And I have to say the, 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 the performance is, is quite impressive. And it actually doesn't even feel like a, a, a typical sports car. It feels pretty roomy. I had all the features and tech that I kind of usually enjoy. And the ride was very comfy. Um, so this is actually a car that, that it looks like a lot of these owners really enjoy. Not because it's a sports car, not just because it's, you know, electric power, uh, powertrain car, uh, but also is because kind of, a, you know, they can actually take and drive these cars um, every day. And a lot of them driven him here for hundreds of miles um, to get to this destination so they can enjoy this event. Now, I know you just got yours just really right behind us, this beautiful little thing here. Uh, now, let's say in another two, three, four years, whenever you decide to maybe uh, get another one, what if the next generation would be all electric? Would that be something that you would be looking forward to? Or is it would be a little bit too fast, too much? Um, I'm one of these uh, guys that really is convinced that uh, the future is electric. It's unavoidable. I mean, uh, 
energy will be abundant, uh, lithium is abundant, uh, it's, it, it can be made uh, in the next three, four years at a scale which is affordable for a lot of people. So I'm welcoming the, 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 the next wave of electrical cars that are coming. Like with this one, the top down, driving electric, you're like in another world. I mean, you hear nature, you hear the birds, you hear, you, you hear everything. It's, a, it's an amazing feeling to, to, to witness that, to participate in that. I really enjoyed hanging out with some of the guys from the BMW team and, and some of the owners. Actually, all of the owners, they seem to be really excited about these cars. Kind of reminds me when I go to the, uh, my Tesla adventure trips, right? Everyone's really excited about the community aspect of it. So it's really cool to see uh, these guys uh, organize uh, you know, one of the better events that I've, I've been part of. So um, that was really cool. I'm definitely going to keep my eye on the these technologies that are coming out, the plug-in hybrids, but also obviously I'm going to keep my eye uh, on the BMW as they're gearing up to produce their next level, the next generation of uh, electric cars that a lot of them are going to be all electric. A lot of them are going to compete uh, with uh, Tesla cars and other L all electric cars that are coming out of the market. So um, I'm, I can't wait to see what the future holds. All right, guys. Well, I, I've enjoyed my trip to England. I am on my flight back tomorrow, back to San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, other than that, see you next time. And remember to stay charged.